I've got some bad news. This morning when I was checking this, a stink beetle had gotten one of my monarchs and has killed it. I knew nothing about stink be beetles, but they are one of the caterpillars. This one here has died. It went and it has like a, um, a needle-like mouth and then it pierces into the monarch caterpillar and sucks the living life out of it. Unfortunately, this poor baby's dead. So this is why we need to protect the, the stink beetle. Kill this beautiful Interstar 5 monarch caterpillar. Probably just before it was going to Jay. Looks like these two might Jay soon. Going next to the chrysalis is kind of funny. Bunching together, but who knows if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And we've counted that we've only lost one caterpillar to the siege of the stink bug. Just one. And we're going to make some jewelry out of them, believe it or not. And we'll show you how we do that. And I also made a little, um, oh, I don't know if you can see here. There's some more. Um, there's where our, our little hatchery is. I transferred it in here because they should be hatching soon. So indoors I have created a hatchery. Um, this is one I, I created. It's a s smaller version of what's outside. It's The window's open, it's outside because you always have to have it uh, in the fresh air. And then I've laid out some of the eggs within the structure. So when they hatch, they'll just hatch right onto the milkweed and also a big milkweed leaf. It's very important that they don't dry out. And in this one, I had spare. I, sorry, there it is. I have um, it underneath some eggs there. And they'll be able to get on the milkweed and they have to stay moist. So we're hoping to match those. We're hoping that it will be a success and uh, I can go away for the weekend and not have any problems or worries. I'm much happier now that I know that I only lost one uh, uh, Interstar 5 caterpillar to a stink bug, not two or three. So, as, as it's been told to me, we can't play God. Uh, nature has their right, the stink bug has their right to live to and to find a good source of food. Um, they, uh, they're important to the uh, biodiversity of our environment as well. So I'm not going to have bad vibes towards them. Fair and square he got my monarch caterpillar. Okay, so I'll see you again uh, when I come back from uh, my trip up north. Hopefully look for some wild monarchs, see how they're faring. See you again soon and subscribe and comment and love those monarch butterflies as much as I do and we'll have a wonderful time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hey, Soju's coming with me. Soju, come on. Ah, she's going to sniff around. Well, I'm just going to update you on the security measures of the monarch enclosure that I had to do. It's, uh, you know, you just got to adapt and change all the time. So I found a bit of this Perspex. Perspex plastic. So stink bugs can't go in there and poke my little babies. They could do it here, but that's minimal. I could probably do something for that. But so far I haven't got a problem. So, and also, well, I say so a lot, I put this, this sheet. Oh, can you focus? It's gone all, it's all gone all white out. White out! The camera's trying to adjust. Okay, let's start this again. The color's gone. Almost zombified because the stink bug has got my monocatabular and killed it.
I gotta fix this camera, something's wrong. I'm just getting to know my camera and I just pushed the wrong button on the touch screen at the back and it made some zombie flick come up. Um, so here is what I put at the back so that the stink bugs can't settle um, on the screen and pick at my, pick, well, literally shoot my poor monarch caterpillar butterflies, um, um, caterpillar down. What's that in there? Get you something behind there. See, there's always a bug, a battle of a bug.